Hi class, good morning. I hope all of you are doing well and I miss you all. To any parents that might be watching, I'm Ms. Polanco and I'm the music teacher and I'll be working with your students every day, sometimes through video, sometimes just through assignments. We're working, so it's nice to meet you. Um, we're working on Yellow Submarine today, hopefully most of you got a chance to listen to the song and watch the video, and um, we're going to learn more about the meaning of the song tomorrow. But I wanted everyone to have a chance to make an instrument so that you could choose to sing, play an instrument, or do both. So I know we don't have our classroom instruments available, but we can sure make some at home. So these are some bongos. They look a little bit like the the drums we have at school, and I know drums are a favorite of you guys. Here is some drumsticks. I know we use drum set, so here's some drumsticks, and here's an egg shaker, very much like the ones we use at school. So I'm going to help you guys learn how to make some of these things. So I found these two Tupperware containers in my kitchen. You can ask whoever you're with, whoever's watching the video with you, your mom, a sibling, to help you find two containers, one bigger and one smaller, sort of like the bongo drums. And so I found these, and then I was trying to find a way to attach them together, so I found in my office this clip. You could use tape, you can use a clip like mine, or... Find your own way of putting the two drums together. So this is my bongo. Okay, so you can use your hand or you can use some makeshift drumsticks. So I found a chopstick and uh, it's a little bit brighter sound. I also found a wooden spoon. Mine happens to have a drumstick on one end, but you can just use any wooden spoon. Or you can even use a spoon. Okay, so these are some things you can ask for permission to use to play your bongo or just your hands. The other thing I found that I thought was made a pretty good sound was just a simple pot. So this sort of makes a nice bell sound, especially if you use it with metal. You can also use it with wood. You can experiment, see what sounds you like. And the lid of the pot also makes a sort of a nice symbol. If you remember the last project we were working on was a modern band and we were learning the backbeat on the drum set. So you can use this just sort of as a symbol. All right, so hopefully your drumming needs are taken care of between pots or Tupperware and uh, could be boxes. I be, would love to see what type of things you guys come up with today or this week. So the next instrument we're going to work on is the shaker. So when I was looking around my kitchen, I found these two small Coca-Cola cans that were empty. And I also found a, um, an old uh, sorbet, uh, it's like ice cream container. Then I was trying to figure out what I could put in that would make it sound like a shaking sound. So I found some dried peas and I also found some rice. So we're going to make, I'm going to make these shakers with you and then hopefully you can find some type of container again with your parents' permission and uh, we'll be ready to go tomorrow for uh, adding instruments to our song. So I also, you don't need this, but just to make things a little easier, I happen to find this funnel. So I'm going to put that right in the can. You don't have to have one. It makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to put the peas in the can. 
So my funnel got stuck, so I'm just going to put it in like this. Pretty good. Put all you want to make sure all the whatever you're using. You could use small beans. You can use rice. You can you can use popcorn that's not cooked yet. Whatever you have at home. Tiny rocks, and then just put some tape on the lid. I have scotch tape, so that's what I'm using right now. You can use masking tape. You could even put masking tape around this. Maybe that'll be another lesson and we can decorate them. Let's see how it sounds. All right, so you can make one, you can make two. I'll make my second one later. And let's try this container. Okay, this is plastic. And I'm gonna try some minute rice on that. See if it sounds louder. We were working with dynamics in our first um, online lesson about clapping loud and soft. Let's see if this is louder or softer than the can. Okay. So definitely a different sound, right? So there's our shakers. Here's our drums. Literally, all you need is your own hands to clap to make a sound. You can take two spoons, hit them together, and we'll be ready to go. So I'll see you tomorrow, and please look at the portfolio section for the assignment related to this. Have a really good day.